All right, hello guys. This vlog is starting off very chaotically. I am on my way to go get my hair done. I will explain more as I am walking. I am running late. I need to tie my hair up. I need to make some coffee because I need at least something in my system. I don't think I'm gonna have time to eat breakfast. I don't really eat breakfast anyways, but I need to like have something. I need coffee. Get going. <laughs> hair looks so funny like this. I never wear my hair like this. Tyler wants me to, but I never do. But yeah, we're going to get our hair done. Um, let's go make some coffee. Let's go. Okay. So I am walking to my hair appointment now. I'm sorry I started the vlog off so chaotic, but I was obviously in a rush. Now that I'm walking over, I am finally getting a weave back. It has been two years since I've gotten my hair done, like professionally. I just feel like ponytail tea was an era. She was a moment. But I was just getting kind of tired of her. It was a lot of work. And although it was like a natural hairstyle, I think all of the products that I had to use on a daily basis wasn't that good for my hair. Like I know every time I wash my hair in general, a little bit of it falls out because I didn't wash my hair as often I think and because I was using so much product there was just too much fallout and I wasn't using the right products and I just think I'm the type of person honestly that needs someone else to do their hair like my mom did my hair growing up and then I took over doing it I completely fried it off with like straightening it so I just think although natural hairstyles are fun to have as like maybe an in-between or you take a little break I just know that that my hair will be so much more protected if I don't have access to it. So that's my whole thing. One, I just think it's time. Like I've been rocking the ponytail forever and I'm just over it. Like it's boring. I have never worn a hairstyle that long. So it's, it'll be nice to just be able to rock a different look for a little bit. I forget what I even look like with my hair down. So I'm excited to finally get my hair done again. I found this really great salon near me. I'll share all the info with you guys. They have really good reviews. They do great hair. It's my first time going to them, so hopefully everything works out. I will let you know. Yeah, I'm almost there. Speed walking because it wasn't that far, but I am a little bit late, so. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> I love it. Okay, we are back. We have the new hair. I wasn't able to vlog that much getting my hair done because obviously I was getting my hair braided down, all of the things. Hope you guys enjoyed that little reel that I uh, included before this. But here is the new hair. It's super long. I'm not used to having like this long of hair. I think before when I got weaves, like I think the longest I ever went was maybe like 18 but this is like long this is like to my butt so this is gonna take a lot of getting used to I gotta make sure we don't get it in the toilet but she did so good I decided to do a sew in with a little um leave out because I think it just looks more natural like it doesn't look like you have kind of like a wig on um and I haven't done leave out in a really long time so I kind of wanted to try it again I think the only thing is making sure that my natural hair stays healthy because it is up top but here's what it looks like let me know what you guys think I know it's like probably so weird seeing me with hair again um, I feel like I need like a few days to get used to it, but I think the leave out is like helping because I can actually see like my natural forehead, hairline, all of that. So it just looks like I have really long hair, but here's the hair. I am obsessed with it. I actually really love it. It's like gonna be fun for New York. Um, I don't know if I mentioned I'm going to New York next week actually 
to visit my friend Claudia. She lives there, so I'm so excited. We're gonna go and like have a whole week, do Broadway shows, go eat at fun restaurants, do some shopping. I'm so excited. This is gonna be like the perfect hair for New York. I'm very excited about it, but let me know what you guys think. We'll leave the info of the stylist that I went to. Like I said, she had a lot of really good reviews. It braided my hair down really flat. It doesn't look that poofy. Usually when I get my weaves in, like my head looks so big, but the braid pattern that they did was just like straight. So it's like very flat. Once I go to sleep, like it'll be even more flat, but I'm starting out with a very like normal shaped head. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to say. That's the hair. We are off for the rest of the day. I decided to take it off because there was no way I was gonna be able to work and get my hair braided and all that stuff. It just was not going to happen. So I took the day off. I ordered some Serpateca. I haven't eaten mine yet, so I'm gonna heat this up and eat some lunch. I wanted to show you some of the things that I got for my hair yesterday. What I really also liked, and I guess this is the difference of going to like an actual salon, is they actually like wash my hair and everything also, even though I washed it last night. But they washed my hair, they like blow dried it, did all of the things before they actually like braided everything down. But I did buy some new like hair wash stuff because my friend Andrea recommended me this brand and I actually really like it because I struggle a lot with like really dry hair. I think I just wasn't like I was saying I don't I don't use the right products for my natural hair which is why I'm like okay I need to like save my hair before it all falls out. But I ended up getting some good stuff so this brand is actually really good. They sell it at Target's TGIN. I got the replenishing conditioner. I'll link all of this stuff down below. The leave-in conditioner which made such a difference like just in one day and the sulfate free shampoo so i just bought these three things also got this this jamaican black castor oil which i put like on the ends of my hair and a little bit on my scalp so that my hair could be a lot more hydrated and it really was like when i woke up this morning usually like i said my hair gets really dry really fast it was like really moisturized which never happens i just love it i really like that brand i only used it once it smells really good but highly recommend got a bunch of these hair ties like really big hair ties if you have thick hair these at target are a game changer like look how big they are compared to like the natural ones or the regular ones that we're used to like these are thin and small and these are huge like thick so I really love those. Picked up some of those. And then I also just got like the regular ones just because I, I never know where these things are. Like, I feel like you start off with a pack of those and then as time goes on, I just never know where they end up. But I had to buy another pack of those. And then I got one of these clip ties so that I could do a little, if I wanted to do like a, I don't know. I gotta figure out like what my hairstyle is gonna be but if I wanted to like clip my hair back, probably like my whole head of hair, I would do that, but this really big clip, I need to buy some on Amazon. So those are the things that I picked up from Target yesterday for my hair. I will link all of those down below, but I need to eat something because I'm starving. All right, now that I have some food in my system finally, I am taking some time to get situated and like plan out my schedule a little bit. Being away in San Diego for the week kind of threw obviously my schedule off. I decided not to vlog that week just because I like enjoying my time with my family. So I didn't vlog much, but I have been planning just some things that I need to like actually sit down write it down and put it all in my planner i'm really weird so i've been looking for new planners at target like i'll go around i'll see like what they have but i haven't found anything that like i really love and i'm very specific when it comes to sorry i'm getting used to this hair and then like need to put it behind my ear um i really love planners that have the daily schedule so let me show you for example my december calendar since i don't have that much filled in um i like to have it where i can plan out my whole day on one sheet so this is all friday right here so i have 
you know, the to-do list for the time and then the actual to-do list, the top three things that I need to get done. And then the next page is, well, that's a weekend, so it doesn't really count. But like, let's see here, for example, I wrote one thing in, um, the whole day, and then this is a whole day. Now, when I go to Target, one, I really like this planner because it has the days on one page, but it's a little like bulky and small. I want something maybe a little bit bigger and flat, like less pages. But everything that I've seen at Target, it's like, it has the boxes like this, one, two, three, four, five, and for the whole week. I just, I can't do planners like that. And I wanna know, like, am I the only one? Like, do you guys feel that way as well? Like, are you very particular with your planners? Even if it's like the complete opposite of what I like, but I just feel like I'm so, picky when it comes to planners like i can never find one that i'm like absolutely obsessed with i don't know what it is but even this one like i like it but i'm not in love with it because it's so big so i don't know just things that run through my mind yeah i'm so happy i took today off it's like only five but it feels so late because i was gone all day i didn't really like oops i didn't really do much but I still got stuff done, which is good. I'm checking things off of my list. I love when I do that. I have yet to work out this week. I need to do that at some point. Okay. I think I think we're I think we're good. first day of vlogmas officially even though we started this vlog yesterday i said that i would be vlogging still like every day or still capturing christmas content i'm not gonna be doing vlogmas this year it is just way too much i talked about this on a live that i have recently that just like having a full-time job having things open back up, me trying to spend time with family, friends, all of that, just for my mental health and sanity. I cannot vlog and upload every single day, but there will still be content. I'm still gonna be like decorating, showing you guys how I decorate my new apartment this year. We're gonna go pick up a tree, I think later tonight. We'll see about that. I'm still gonna be vlogging. There's still gonna be Christmas content. It's just not gonna come in a form of a video every single day. So that's the update on Vlogmas. We're still in the Christmas spirit over here. I'm gonna do some skincare. I have my new um, satin bonnet for my hair. Um, and I'll show you guys how I kind of wrap my hair, but I wanted to do some morning skincare with you. So I never knew that they had these big versions of the ordinary skincare and i am so happy that i discovered these i picked these up in the sephora sale it is amazing because it doesn't run out as quickly hyaluronic acid specifically i run out of it so fast so it's nice to have that bigger bottle but you guys know i always start off my skincare with just rinsing my face have it a little bit wet i'll put the hyaluronic acid all over and put this back a little bit hyaluronic acid and then we'll go in with some niacinamide i will link all of these products down below but i feel like at this point you guys kind of know my routine there are a few things that i switched out the new like vitamin c products sunscreen that i'm trying next alpha arbutin again the ordinary my rider dies almost out of that i'm gonna have to switch i feel like my third product I usually always do hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and then my third product is always some type of hyperpigmentation product to get rid of that. But I always switch it out, whether it's like alpha arbutin, um, sometimes I'll do ascorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C. I've also been trying this Seize the Day by Good Skin Days. I go back and forth from, uh, from vitamin C because I'm currently using a vitamin c moisturizer so this one's from origins this is the just like a gel moisturizer because i have really oily skin i need like a gel so that it's not like adding more oils to my skin really loving this one it smells delicious like i freaking love this stuff i've got all over sometimes i'll go in with this dermalogica eye serum i'll just do it today because it's like it's not really consistent, but like sometimes when I feel like my eyes are a little bit poofy or like I'm super tired, I'll put some of that and it'll just kind of like make me feel like I'm a little bit awake. I don't really use that many eye products. 
I've said this before, like I feel like eye cream's kind of a scam. <laughs> Just use a moisturizer, but who knows? I don't know. And then a new sunscreen that I've been trying. You guys know that I've been trying to find really good sunscreens that have zinc oxide. I sent this one from Bliss. It has SPF 30 and this is their invisible daily sunscreen. And I've been using this for the past like three weeks and I really like it. Um, I like, oops, I got a little bit on there. I like that the color is not like stark white. You don't know, like zinc oxide, it inherently leaves a white cast. And so it's really hard having dark skin to find a good sunscreen that has that ingredient, but doesn't leave a white cast. So as you can see, it just like melted into my skin. Like it is so good. I'm so impressed. And the tip with this sunscreen and zinc oxide in general, I have found the past few months that I've been trying them is you have to use it on wet skin. So you have to apply it as soon as your other skincare is applied. Like you can't wait until it's like dry almost. Like your skincare has to kind of still be wet and it won't leave a white cast. Like it just, it's so good. It just kind of melts in and I love that. It's not white or anything. So I do that. And then I'll just kind of like brush my brows up. I've been using the got to be glue a little bit on my eyebrows just to make them stay, but I'm gonna be doing my makeup. So today I'm just gonna like brush them up like this. Just brush them up. And it is so cold right now. So that's why my outfit is just a hot mess, but <laughs> just woke up. I'm gonna take my scarf off and I'll show you guys how I kind of slept with my hair. My first time actually using a bonnet before i've never used a bonnet i had to actually google how to wrap my hair because i was like i was not sure with the long hair i think it turned out well i did like these little like buns with some silk hair ties so that it doesn't leave any creases and i rolled it up because it's curled and i wanted to preserve the curls that she did so this is the trick if you curled your hair the night before or the day before and you still want the curls to last you have to wrap them up in like a little twist almost. See how it's like all twisted around? That way, when you take the curl out, it's like still curled, you see? Like even added more curls, I think. You can of course add like more curls if you're not liking the curl pattern, but this is pretty good for just like waking up like that. Cool little hack that I learned and I'm sharing with you guys. I love that like I just can do this and my hair is done. Normally when I want my hair to be done, I have to lay down my edges and it's like this whole process. So this is gonna save me so much time. Probably will add like a few more curls because there are some kinks. And there we have it, that's the hair. I'm obsessed with it. Now, go and make some coffee, start work. It is a work day. I also have some content to film today, so that's why I need to do my makeup. Typically, I don't do my makeup during the week just because I'm working and I just don't, <laughs> I don't feel a need to do my makeup. There's really no point. Just kind of like try to look as business on top as possible. Like this can even pass for business. I just put like a little cardigan like that. I feel like we're at the point with COVID and like working from home and Zoom calls that like the attire has kind of taken a downturn. We're not wearing blazers anymore. At least I'm not. I'm definitely not wearing blazers on calls. I'm just like, I rolled out of bed two minutes ago. Hopefully it doesn't look like that, but it is what it is. I'm gonna do a quick clean and unload the dishwasher. like a little pic of my hair i'm doing this in between meetings like technically on my lunch break so i don't have that much time the fact that it gets so dark now so fast i have to be really strategic about 
when I film because I'm fighting against the sun here. I'm just gonna do a little curl, adding a few more curls in my hair. This is the first time I'm like actually styling it, so I'm a little confused. A little lost, but we're kind of going with it. I'm just using a T3 iron. I'm adding a little bit more of a bend. The bend is a little lost. So I'm just opening this clamp. For the front parts, I'm gonna start up a little higher because I want it to frame my face a little bit more. Um, and this curler is nice because it has like a really nice big barrel. So you can get like those really voluminous curls with this. And I'm kind of just trying to follow like the curls that she did because they were really pretty. I don't want to ruin them. I just want to make them a little bit more defined. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I think I'm just leaving it on for like five seconds. This curler works really well actually with this hair. The thing with long hair that I am now realizing is that it takes so much longer to style because there's so much hair to actually curl. You kind of have to wait for it for a little bit. With the short hair, it's a little bit faster. Um, as you can see, that kind of just like refreshed it a little bit. Hair is all done. I was just filming a few TikToks. I'm trying to get back on my TikTok game because I realized that's where all the cool kids are at and I wanna be a cool kid. I wanna play with the cool kids. So I just got a little package aside and I wanted to show you. I am gonna be including this package in my gift guide that I'm gonna be filming right now. I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek or maybe my gift guide is actually going. I think my gift guide's going before this. Yeah, it is. But I'll show you guys anyways because I'm very excited about it and I think you guys would really enjoy this. Ooh, okay, this hair is like, I will say, the hair is a lot. It's fun, but it is heavy. I feel like I'm just like, like it's a lot. Okay, it's taking some getting used to. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oops, gotta be careful with this one. All right, really cool package from House. If you guys haven't heard of them, they are a like spirits company and they sent this over. And I'm so excited to try these for just some holiday drinks. I think these would make a great gift also. Like if you have someone in your life who loves to drink. Oh my God, how fun would this be as a gift to them? There's so many different spirits. Pomegranate raspberry. This one is a new fashion. Ooh, lemon lavender. We have grapefruit jalapeno, citrus flower, rose, rose rose. This is so cool. It's made with real ingredients. Every flavor is clean, refreshing, and easy to drink. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna do a video on this, like maybe like a cocktail video. But I think that would be really fun. So make sure you guys check out House for all of your like holiday drinking needs. I feel like they would make a really fun like either party idea, gift idea, or for yourself. Like I feel like it'd be fun to like invite some friends over, make some drinks, pop some bottles. I feel like that'd be a really fun like idea versus just like a let's sit around and drink wine. Although I appreciate that too, but having a theme, I'm all about a theme. That'd be really fun. Okay, so I am about to film my gift guide. I'm debating on whether or not I want to pop on a red lip. I probably should it's to make it a little bit more festive. What do you guys think? Even though this video would be already filmed. Um, I don't know. I feel like I like the casual vibe. This is like a last minute gift guide. So I need to like just do it. So I think I'm going to do more casual. I get prepped and filmed right now. I'm also watching my emails because like I said, I am also working, but I'm multitasking and I'm using some of my lunch break to get some stuff done. <laughs> All right, see you in 30 minutes. Taking a slight break 
from filming. Um, I just filmed the gift guide and now I'm going through some emails that I need to eventually answer. And I'm going through the pictures that I took. Um, I'm eating some lunch. And it's so annoying because it got so dark so fast now. And like it's only two. And the difference from filming at two, like right now versus like an hour ago, is so large. It's like crazy, I hate daylight savings. Like who created that? Why do we think that was a good thing? Like why? I don't get it. I'm eating some lunch. I have one more call in 30 minutes, but I need to film one more thing. So I'm like, do I start doing that or do I wait? If I wait, the lighting is not going to be good. Just for those troubles. Anyways, Tyler, are we going to get the tree today? What? Sure. Where's your Christmas spirit? Where's your Christmas spirit? Why? Because you feel lazy? Men, I can't. We have to do everything ourselves, always. Okay, it has been a very long day and I have not really vlogged that much today. I have my blue light glasses on. I have been working all day, but it is like finally time to sign off for the day. I've been editing a video that's gonna go live tomorrow and I got in some hair stuff that I thought I would share. So I feel like this is like a hair vlog kind of, just a little bit. I got these little clips for when I do my makeup so I can pin back my hair. So you kind of just like pin back your hair in the front like that so that it's out of your face. Came with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna leave four in my makeup bag so that it's just like there if I ever need to do like use it. And then four in the bathroom. I got some teasing cones. So this one is nice. You can like just like pick up the hair with that end and then like, you know, not teasing comb. Like a, what is this called? Like a rat tail comb, like you just separate, part your hair. And then this one is for teasing, which I probably won't do that much of, but it just came in a pack. And these alligator clips for actually curling my hair. So now that like this hair is so long and there's so much of it, I need to like separate it and like put it up and like do sections. Stylist that did my hair, she had these and they're like actually pretty heavy duty. I kind of like that actually. So I'm gonna be using these when I need to curl my hair. So I got that. I got this really cute hair clip. Thought it was cute and like kind of trendy, very Gen Z. It's just like checkered. So I have this one in that I got from Target. This one's like really big, but this one's a little bit smaller. So let's see how that looks like. I mean, this is obviously not how it would go, but here's what the clip looks like. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if that's showing, but that's a clip. I'll probably wear that tonight actually so actually that's kind of cute um so yeah we're gonna go and eat some dinner to this thai place that is near us all right it's friday i'm getting ready to go to the mall because i have first i wanted to return some things from express I ordered a shirt that was too big so i got a smaller size so i need to return the bigger size i still need to go to pick up some stuff at nordstrom i want to stop at zara to see if there's any like last minute things for my new york trip so we're gonna do that and yeah i'm excited to go and check it out i decided to do the small thing on friday because I feel like whenever you go to the mall on the weekends, like it's just like a madhouse. It's insane, like so crazy. And I just cannot do it. Like it's just too much. Let me know if this is just me, but I feel like whenever I go to the mall, I'm kind of just like, especially during the week. Like I feel like it's just during the week. Whenever I'm at the mall, I'm like, what do you guys, like, what do you guys do? Like, why are you out? Like, don't you have a job? But then I'm like, 
that person that I'm asking about. You know, like I have a job, but I'm out. So, and you also, I feel like don't think about people that maybe just have like off schedules, like maybe they are off in the middle of the week. You know, like I normally am not, or I like take my lunch break or I take a little break and go out. Um, so it's just funny to think like whenever like the mall's super busy and you go during the week, you're kind of like, where the, like, why are you guys here? Don't you have a job? But it's just funny. Just my thoughts that I think of. I also need to go pick up some of my tree things for Christmas. So my friend Carly, when I had originally moved, these are dirty. When I had originally moved to this apartment, I didn't have storage. So the storage here is kind of like first come first serve. So I didn't have space to put all my Christmas stuff, which I have a lot of. So my friend Carly had like a big garage and she let me hold all of my Christmas stuff there. So I need to go today after the mall and pick up my Christmas stuff because we want to go get a tree. I'm very excited for the Christmas decorations. Surprisingly, I didn't buy that much for Christmas this year. I only bought a few things from Target. Usually I like go all out, but I think we're gonna just use what we have this year. I think I still have my red decor, I think. Hopefully I do. Um, we're gonna do like a red theme. It's gonna be super cute. Okay, let's go. A little later, I'm back from Zara. Me and Tyler are gonna go pick up our Christmas tree. Probably gonna decorate, probably not today, maybe tomorrow. We definitely need to get our Christmas tree. It's November, not November 3rd, December 3rd. We need a tree, like we're a little bit behind. We have all of my Christmas stuff back here. You can't really see it, but I went and picked it up from my friend's garage that I had it stored at. So we're gonna go get our tree, get in the Christmas spirit. I'm very excited about it. What was the other one? Which one was the one? Trying to compare the trees. So we have this one as an option. And then I think we were looking at this one as the other option. Yeah. I think that one. Right? Yeah. The shape. Wait, which one? The shape is nicer. Wait, this? This one. This one? The other one, honestly. This one I think is the nice one. I think this one's nicer. Yeah. Should we do that one? Yeah, I'm down for that one. Keep looking. Okay. Let's keep looking, but I think I want to do that one. This one is super full, too. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you mean to me. All right, good morning. It is... Saturday. Um, again, always having some type of chaotic energy, but getting ready to leave. Me and Tyler are going to get a massage at the spa and I'm so excited. The last time we got a massage was like, I don't know, maybe like two, not two months ago. Maybe like almost six months ago now. It's been a while and this is like our second massage ever. Like we've never really been people that like go and get massages that often. Um, but we're gonna go get one because his back has been hurting and it's cheaper to get like a couple's massage. So I am along for the ride and I need to hurry up because our appointment is in like 15 minutes and I was editing a video, I lost track of time, was just like on my phone, scrolling through TikTok. You know how that goes. I'm wrapping my hair. I told you guys this earlier in the vlog, but I like to like wrap my hair up at night. I feel like it just makes it look better. Like it makes the curls last. As you can see, like the curls are still there. I'll probably just like brush through this. I'm like brushing because I know Tyler's about to text me and be like, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, I need to get my bag. Here's the outfit. Um, my mirror moved into our hallway now because of 
the Christmas tree, it's over there. So now my mirror is in this little hallway and I put just a little bit of Christmas decoration. Probably gonna do a full video showing you guys how I decorate um, this apartment for the holidays, but this is where the mirror is for now. I kind of like this spot actually, it's kind of cool. Um, but just a simple white button down, some shorts, my New Balances, and this little um, bag from Amazon that I've shown before. I need to put some oil in my hair actually, so I should probably do that. Tyler just texted me, he's like, where the F are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. My hair needs oil. off my wallet it's so chaotic right now glasses let's go okay we're back from the spa let me actually also show you guys what i picked up from zara i realized i never did that that will kind of be like the end of this vlog so first sephora is just here i went there and pick up some things got a pump and brow so this pump and brow is actually really cool it's like a brow mascara so whenever like i don't wear makeup i just like to you know fix up my brows so you just like brush them up and it gives them a little bit of color which is nice so i really like that i saw it i'm like ooh, i actually would like enjoy this and i love christian dior the packaging is super cute too so i picked that up and then i picked up a concealer because it was super creamy so i'm excited to try that um and then i picked up a few things from charlotte tilbury that i've been wanting to try this is their airbrush flawless finish action perfecting micro powder and i've heard really amazing things about this i just got it in a mini size i wanted to try it first before i spent the money on the full size but you guys know i freaking love charlotte tilbury um, i love their packaging and this is what it looks like it's just so cute and mini and it's basically like a perfecting powder like it's just like sets everything and you basically look perfect you guys know how much i love their bronzer so anything charlotte tilbury now i'm just like yes give it to me so just got a few things from sephora not too much i also went to h&m and i picked up these boots for new york i figured this would be like a really cute boot to have for like an all black outfit I don't have any boots that are flat that are not black so i figured this would be like a nice fun little twist like i'm thinking all black maybe like a beige or like cream sherpa coat Feel like would be really really cute so i will link those and then i will show you guys the things that i got from zara so i think i took some videos so i will show that or i'll insert it but first i got this velvet mini dress which is so pretty it has some jewels on the side and it's open which i freaking love i love the cut of it too it's kind of like a square neck velvet detail velvet material like i said it is a little bit long on me i'm 5'2 not that it's like super long but i would just imagine this being like a mini dress so i definitely want to see if i can get this tailored just like taken in just a tiny bit i got a size small i think an extra small probably would have been better bring it up just a tiny bit i feel like i want to cut off just like maybe two inches just to make it like really mini and i think this would be so pretty for the holidays just like a really easy like new year's eve outfit um i think that would be so pretty it's like not super extra but it's still holiday and then i would pair it with this black oversized jacket which i've been meaning to get one for the longest time i just don't have one that's super oversized and like a boy like you know like men's jacket so i got this one it's in a size medium and it was actually a pretty good price of 69 dollars and it's like structured really nice quality um you guys know zara jackets and blazers they're really good so i picked that up and i just envision wearing those two together like the blazer and the dress like oh my gosh with legs showing strappy heels would be so freaking cute and then the last two things that i got um these 
are kind of like a set, but they come as separate. So this is a top. I ended up getting this in a large because I wanted it to be oversized. Hold up, my camera's dying. All right, now we're back in business. My camera was dying, so I had to switch out the battery. I got this top in a large because I wanted it to be oversized, and it is so cozy. This is like the perfect airport outfit for me. Again, like I said, I'm going to New York in a few days, so I'm just like thinking of outfits that I can wear there. I love to be super comfy on the plane, so this I got in a super big size. I'm thinking of wearing this with a coat over, and then it comes with the matching pant. I don't know what material this is, but it is so freaking soft. It's polyester, uh, polyester and cotton. I don't know what type of polyester and cotton they're using, but this is like something else. It's so soft and plush. I got the pants in a size small and the top in a large. And then again, just with like a coat, really that's it like the shirt tucked into the pant sneakers and you're so comfortable for the plane like it's the perfect outfit so that's everything that i got at zara sephora and h&m yesterday when i went to the mall um and yeah it was a good little mall trip so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i think this is going to be the end of it i am going to start another vlog tomorrow it's going to be nyc prep getting ready for new york i leave on Wednesday today's Saturday so I have Sunday Monday Tuesday to get ready I need to do my nails I need to plan an outfit I need to buy Broadway tickets so all of those things so the next vlog next video will be prepping for NYC so super excited hope you guys are subscribed and ready they're ready outside I hope you guys are ready for the New York videos and I will see you in the next one